I want to get to the Blazers, who are the third seed out west. With a bullet, doesn't even explain it. They're in a 13-game winning streak. The cast of characters is pretty mm. much the same as it was mm -hmm. last year. So what is different, Ramona, this year? They're playing defense. Mm -hmm. Like, not like an all-defensive team or anything like that, but they, they have bought into the defensive concepts they're playing now. And if everybody gets just a little bit better, right, if Dame Lillard and C.J. McCollum, if they go, if they get 15% better each, if they make a commitment on that side of the ball, everything works. Like, they're never going to make an all-defensive team, right? But but if they get just better there, I think that makes a big difference. Plus, Dame Lillard, when you look at his stats over this last stretch, since February 1st, his stats are basically the same as James Harden. He's right up there. And when you go all NBA guards, like when we go to our first team, second team, okay, when you, when you just go points per game and assists per game, and you add them all together, Dame Lillard is third mm -hmm. in the league yep. among guards. <laughs> it goes James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and then, da and then Damian Lillard. He's a monster. But to Ramona's, you know, mm -hmm. uh, talk about their defensive uh, efforts on this year's team. If you look at last year, defensive efficiency, they were 21st, they're seventh. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at opposing field goal percentage, they were 12 last year, they're fourth. You know, rebound percentage, they were 18, they're fourth. Mm -hmm. and, and it is, it's a commitment on the defensive end, and it starts off with McCullough and, and, and Damian. There's no doubt about that. That's mm -hmm. two heads of the snake. And if those guys are committed on that end of the floor, like you said, if both of those guys came in this year, this year and said, listen, let's get 10, 15 percent better on the defensive end, and let's see what happens. Well, it, it, take, it takes some, you know, 13-game oh. winning streak and three, three seed in the West. Yeah. And I don't think anybody thought about Portland being nowhere near that at oh. this particular time of the season besides those two guys, maybe. Say, yeah, Damian those, those guys and, and yeah, those two did. guys, they <laughs> thought about it. But I think us, yeah. we all thought, oh, if they, you know, yeah. sixth spot, you know, that would be a very successful season yeah. for them. You know, they're, they're obviously their goals are much more loftier than we than we ever imagined. Mm -hmm. And it's all because of one end of the floor and that they're committed to. And it's a ball rolling downhill, right? Because it's yep. a lot easier to get guys to buy into defense, buy into hustle plays, buy into those getting those 50-50 balls. When you're winning, everybody wants to do that more. And then if it gets winning the next game.